Here we're going to use time difference of arrival techniques to determine the location of a rogue transmitter operating at 1 gigahertz. So we have our three nodes, as you can see here, and we're going to add a network mission, which is going to be a TDOA geolocation. Click on that, we'll start the wizard off. 1 gigahertz center frequency, 10 megahertz span to start off with, and we'll use full data quantization. That's the configuration complete, and here's the geolocation result for TDOA. What we're seeing is a heat map, and uh, the colors represent the probability of the transmitter being at a certain location within this area. And we can see here we have two hyperbolic lines, which are um, part of the TDOA calculations. Um, where those two lines intersect, we can see we've got a high probability area here where the location has been determined for the transmitter with a given probability ellipse. So let's select the properties of this um, TDOA mission which we're running. Here we have a heat map squelcher. We can reduce the, the heat map squelcher. We don't have to see all the, the probability. We just want to see the highest probability so we can squelch to the highest probabilities. We can see here we have a, a geolocation ellipse and if we look at the advanced properties we can change the confidence. So at the moment we have an ellipse which says I'm 90% confident that the transmitter is sitting within a 700 meter by 2 kilometer area as we can see here. The size of this ellipse will change with different modulations which we're trying to um, track for different types of transmitters. Um, the narrower the signal bandwidth, the larger the probability ellipse will be, be simply because of the computational techniques we use for TDOA. So if I reduce this to be 50% confident, 60% confident as we see here, and I zoom in, we can still see we've got the heat map and then we get the ellipse again. So now I'm 60% confident that we're in a 63 meter by 133 meter area for our actual geolocation of the uh, transmitter. This location can be shared with other third party um, packages. So we can add a geolocation stream streaming service over TCP. So now this is set up, any third party software can connect to this particular application and because we have this here this result or any number of geolocation results can be streamed to a third party software so they can display that data on their own graphical displays. We can also record all this information and play back for later analysis.